is Emily Zarnecki and I am a student at St. Andrews University in North Carolina. Um, today I'm going to be doing a grooming uh, tutorial on my horse here Poe. Um, so let's get into it. So the first step in grooming your horse is usually a curry comb. A curry comb breaks up most of the dried up mud and really dirty horses coats. Um, when you use it, you usually go in a circular motion, which I will show you right now. It gets all the loose hairs out and breaks up the mud and things like that. Something you want to be aware of though is when you use this, try not to go behind this area right here, horses get pretty sensitive in that general area. The next step in this process while grooming your horse, once you've finished curry combing, is to use a hard bristle brush to remove what you've taken off with the curry comb. It gets all the dirt and the dust left over from that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit. The third step in this process is to use a soft brush. Um, you can use this brush on the whole body, including the legs and the face. It's a soft brush. It will still help get rid of all the loose hair and dust and dirt. Um, so let me show you how it's done. Alright guys, so the last thing that I'm going to show you today is mane pulling. Um, Poe here is not a huge fan of it, and I usually just use scissors to do his mane. Um, but, when you are going to plan on mane pulling, you'll need a comb just like this. It is made of metal, so it's a little heavier. Um, and I'll show you how to pull a mane right now. Um, you take a small section. It doesn't have to be too big. You wrap it around the comb. You hold it and you pull normally. So you get some hair out. And I'll do that again. So basically what it does is thins out the hair. It can shorten it some um, depending on your what you like. Um, in a mane. I like my horse's mane a little bit shorter. Um, it's not super short, but he's got a thick mane, so it just helps to keep it shorter. I show him normally during the summer, um, and that's really it. So that is how to pull a mane. Now when you're doing the tail, just be mindful and let him know that you're back here. Um, a good thing to do is use your voice um, if you're unfamiliar with the horse and soft touch. Um, now to brush a horse's tail, you usually start at the bottom, get all the tangles out. And gradually go up the horse's tail until you're finished. Bonus for this video is I'm going to, since it's summertime, I'm going to add the addition of fly spray. Um, Poe is super sensitive to flies, does not like them, so I always use fly spray before I get on. Um, I'm using Absorbeam Fly X, Flies X. Uh, what I normally do when I spray him um, is I start at the legs and then I move up. And then I make sure I get all his legs and definitely his stomach and then his neck. In addition to this, you could use fly boots, fly sheets, or a fly mask. He usually gets a fly mask and 
he stays out 24 7. all right guys thank you for watching i appreciate it and i hope you guys have a good day hopefully i gave you some good tips see you guys later